this behavior sucks the air out of the room and takes away all the time we have to attend to real issues, real issues that affect the citizens. So I'm leaving. This is ridiculous. Mr. Mays has been running the show down here incorrectly, illegally for too long. He needs to be removed and we can't get any business conducted until he is removed. So the ruling fails. So Mr. Mays. I may continue. If I may continue, I'm here to tell you all postponements are relevant and I can compare one to another. Ms. Gordon, don't interrupt, please. Thank you, Mr. Mays. You can continue. Yeah, it, but it was just, I'm just, come on, Eva, let's he please. He talks just get, all the time, and I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. Okay, Do you hear every little thing that comes out of my mouth? I feel like. We I hear you now. Point, point of order. order. She's out of order. You can warn her. He, he talks about hypocrisy. Council, you refused to warn her. I did warn her, Mr. Mays. And now you have the floor. Miss Worthing, please. Mr. Mays, you have the floor. She's interrupted twice here, wrong, and now she's showing out. And so I don't appreciate it because I know how to show out. When those council persons show out, I, I like to show out with them, and particularly her. And to sit here and let this man sit up here and make these accusations and make these comical jokes about us, and we don't say nothing, we don't um, point the order and put him in check, that means we allowing him to teach us, tr treat us however he wants to. And he ain't going to treat me no any kind of way based on somebody thinking I need to sit here and shut up and don't say nothing and let him talk to us any kind of way. Let him talk to y'all any kind of way. He ain't talking to me any kind of way. That's just that. Madam Chair. Yes, Mr. Mays. I'm talking to the people of the city of Flint about him. I ain't talking to him. He know it's true. He get called down there. Mr. Piper was in the public dome with uh, Mr. Neely on this issue just the other day. It was on the news. He can get mad if he want to. Okay, Mr. Mays. How ridiculous do that sound? Point of information. What's your point? Uh, are you aware that we amended the job description to say or equivalent? Let me say this, Mr. Piper. Why didn't Ms. Herkin wrote a rule your point of information out of order? Because you white? Well, Mr. Mays, if you would I, like me to answer that, it's beg because... your pardon. I asked the question. I got I'm the floor. Your point well, of order. Okay, what's your point? Point of order. What's your point? You out of order interrupted me when I got the floor. I ain't got the five measly minutes. I can ask if you treat me differently because I'm black and he white. Now, anybody who can call me illegal, I'm going to call them corrupt, ignorant, um, nasty. You, you got a nasty lady up there, Miss Fields. And so I've exhausted my two, Mr. Davis, Mr. Mays did, Mr. Okay, did anybody else have any further discussion on the postponement of these? And, oh, and I want to say this, they didn't come through committee, and they should have come through committee. And if they had come order. through, what is your point then of you order? you say you exhausted your two. Well, I, and now my you two times. Again. Mr. I'm Mays, let me show you my said. time. Point of order is just rule on you what you said. I am, point but I'm order. still under, Ms. what is Dalloway, your point of order? You said you had exhausted and said we all had. Time. So I can this speak again now. No. I'm you just had rule you had exhausted and now you're back in the argument. Mr. Mays, you, you are. You should be calling for the board. I'm a no, councilman who understands. No, point of, point of order. Yeah, I don't appreciate you calling me unreasonable. This is a legitimate point of order. Right. Rule on it. It ain't unreasonable. Rule on it. All that editorial is out of order. Mr. I know my words have triggered people. Just even tonight, Councilwoman Worthing called Councilman Mays an asshole. Tonight. She did. <laughs> okay. She did. She she did. And me and Counts, me and Councilwoman me. Burns, please remember point of language. information. What's it your wasn't point? my language, it was her language. Point okay. of information. <laughs> What's your point? Point of that happened tonight. Okay. What? All right. Miss <laughs> Burns, please continue. But the pastor, you from California, make your own reputation. Miss Fields. 
Fields, Ms. Fields, I'm not talking to you. And so don't talk to me because if you want to start talking to me, Ms. Fields, when I got the flow, every time you talk, you'll get my attention. I said and listened to that mess you talk about calling people names, acting illegally. You just say it out plain like it's true. And I'm tired of you characterizing me and telling me who I am and what I'm doing. It's just, it's just too much. The governor would be dead wrong if he don't replace that too me. So we can talk about it out there. I know you're going to hear him and hum, him, but that motion going to happen. I move to adjourn special affairs. Wait a minute. I would draw my motion to adjourn special affairs. Well, I thought we I just were want, out of here. I just time. want to make a but quick statement. But since it's your birthday, I'm going to withdraw my motion. I just want to say for the record, I appreciate what you're doing. I'll be doggone if you're going to participate in the debate. Now keep on fooling with me, and I'm going to request that you be removed, because I know who you is, and I know your personality. Thank you, Councilman. We the people rule. Mr. President, I'm going to ask that that guy Council be removed uh, now because he want to try me. Uh, Where is Mr. Officer, Metcalf? Officer Metcalf. We now you to, might have done blew yourself because you're going to try to outdo Council me. Mains. Hold on just a second. Any Officer one Metcalf. of them try to outdo me, Officer, he need to go. I done Officer seen. Metcalf, we've got some folks that just refuse to ask just to do be what I've somebody. asked for them to, to, uh, to do, and that is to be orderly. I know who I is. am not going to tolerate not one more outburst. Thank you. Now Mr. That just doesn't make Terry. sense. I know you. We're ready to vote. Mr. President. Councilman Mays. Let me say this. I know who he is. I done been all through the water crisis, sir. And I'm telling you, let that be the last. I also know over here who he is. If, if somebody got something to, Mr. President, ask him to go. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Remove, would you Get him out of here. He think he knows something. We asking he be removed, Mr. Metcalf. Yes. Quickly. I've asked him. I Quickly. He's going to run out of me. And then, and then, Officer Metcalf, this is not a threat to anybody, but you might need to come back because some more going out of here. You want to try. Uh, Madam Clerk, we're ready to vote. Like it's going to be chaos. Hey, uh, Mr. Metcalf, if she don't acknowledge the second and deal with this appeal, get her out the seat. That it's put wrong. me in the seat as finance it chair. Wrong. You, you wrong. It's been moved, it's been moved and second, no. the appeal. And you don't want to acknowledge yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to look, Councilman Mays. But and you, you, you messed yourself up. You vote. know the rules. My vote is sacred. Your vote is, but you didn't respect uh, your vote hey, tonight. When I say you are out of order, you are supposed to immediately cease arguing and say, I appeal your decision. You did not. You continued to argue, and I said, I appeal you out of order again. I said it three times before you said, you I appeal your decision. Galloway, no, I'm not. Then second it. Baby, I'm willing to take this one Baby. all the way because I asked Councilman Winfrey about it. You are wrong, and you made yourself wrong tonight. It's let's been go, seconded, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah, let's pull it up. Winfrey, who sat next to me when he was a sixth ward council person, when he wasn't the president. Point of order. What is your point of order? This is the time where people make their arguments. Ms. Galloway, no. you started Councilman out. Mays, he now asked for he clarity. Now he got the flow. What is these arguments? Is it going to continue Councilman Mays, I am answering the question. What is, just listen well, I to said, it. why didn't point you? Order. No, no, you what are abusing you know, point your point of order. order. It's a yes. What is, what is my your point? point of order? This ain't the time. What is your point of order? This ain't the time. What I'm is your point you, of order? You listen. Listen, Yo, you are in the case. I'm not. He got the flow. He asked me you a question. Then we're going to all chime in on the answer, because your answer is different from mine. Let, learn how to chair me. You need to learn how to be diplomatic. Point of just, order. What is your point of order? You ain't going to get two or three Mr. arguments. You're going to get one you can, for five minutes or okay, two. That's okay. You're, 
And I will continue to bring it up because when I sat here, Mr. Dumas, and I take an oath under office and somebody want to sharpshoot at me and try to say what I didn't do, then you can keep interrupting and being rude and I'm going to call you out every time. I know what I'm doing. You can wave your hand to the cows come home. But you got so much jealousy, envy, people think they don't know what they're doing. And I know who they are. I know who they are. And that's how I operate. And so believe me, while you do your role, I'm going to do mine. And so I'll continue, Mr. Benzik, before I was rudely interrupted. Second. Okay. I want to withdraw my question from there. I don't want to separate 180. Thank you. Okay. Fine. We're going to get to that. That's Thank good. you. Thank you. So, Councilman Mays. Yeah. Mr. Miss, Miss Galloway, you ought to be ashamed of yourself trying to convince Mr. Guerra and anybody else that an appeal have to be immediate. Is that within three seconds, 10 seconds, or 20 seconds, or 30 seconds? What you should concentrate on when there's a, a privileged motion, you recognize it immediately. That's the immediate. Not that it can't be recognized. The second immediate is when there's an appeal or the ruling of the chair. Immediately, you should ask Mr. Davis or anybody else, is there a second? That's the immediate. As far as immediate when you appeal a ruling, whether you do Ms. Worthing and then Mr. Murphy. Can, can we please remind the audience that this is just, that they're clapping, they're shouting, it's not the proper place okay. to do so. Yep. Audience, love that you guys are all here. This is the biggest crowd we've seen in a while. Let's just remember that there is still a whole bunch of business going on. Let's try to refrain from any kind of comments, okay? That's my ruling on that, Mr. Murphy. Ditto. Okay. Point of order. What's your point? These people in the audience can clap. They can clap and say amen. They're not out of order. If y'all that sensitive that people can't clap, okay. what All you right. going to do? Call the police because they clap? Do your thing and I'm going to do mine. And I'm going to do it open, honest, and transparent. And you can wave your hand till your wrists fall off because it's disrespectful to me and I don't appreciate it. And so for Mr. Murphy to get hot up under the collar because I say what I believe is very telling to me. He ain't the only one hot up under the collar when I connected to political point of order. candidates. Madam <laughs> um, President, no, we started, no, chair. chair, excuse me. But real, I'm, let's keep it real. We've been in here, we started at 5.05. .05. It's going on 7 o'clock, two hours. Majority of the time, this first war councilman done monopolized this platform. We allowed him the opportunity to speak. And here he is, keep talking about what he think Quincy Murphy is doing. And it ain't germane to the special order. And we need to be wrapping this up to move on so we can get the business done and you allowing him to keep on dominating me talking about what he think he don't know nothing about what I'm thinking he swear he in my head. Point of order Madam Chair is he using these privileged motions to get and take the floor and make statements? Okay. Come, yeah you need to fit I'm, I'm aware. Okay so um the, the, one of the questions oh, I Council have. Council Mays are you taking your seat again? I don't even know what you said. You, you left the meeting, sir, without permission. Say what? You left the seat without permission. Oh, right you telling me I didn't ask you to leave? You did not, sir. Oh, okay. What I'm, you want to let me back in I'm or not? I'm going to allow you to return to your seat, sir. But I'm asking that I'm asking that you please be respectful so we can finish the meeting. Through you, Madam Chair, to Mr. Smith, can you approach? And then I'm going to turn this over to y'all. And then I'm going to pledge to clean out the corruption from the administration to the city council. I'm going to pledge that tonight. Because cities wasn't meant to run this way. 
and I don't bite my tongue in politics. This body, in my opinion, has been corrupted. Point of order. What's your point of order? It ain't real for you to believe that Mr. Neely, Whittigan, and Attorney Kim them ain't trying to mess with members of this council. When you believe that ain't true, I sell you the Mackinac Bridge for a dollar. Worthen, I guess she figures she in her heyday. And when Murphy team up with her, he proud. Herkin wrote it tickles her. And Lewis just constantly votes with Murphy. The rules is the law. When people flip people off in this administration, we Madam got a Chair. major problem. And I'll wrap Council up by Mace. saying this. I'm going outside of these chambers, outside of these walls, and I'm going to do everything I can to clean this city up. Y'all have a good night. We're going to work. Madam Chair. It's, it's, each person represents the same equal amount of people in the city of Flint. Each person has a voice. It was questioned why I let him back in because he represents a portion of the city of Flint. Did you have something to say, Councilwoman Lewis? Absolutely. Well, I'm not done because, but I think you're being rude, please. I'm not done. Out of order. You're out of order. Thank you. So when we talk about each point person, of order, I'm, I'm doing my I, I, what's point your, of order. What is your point of order? That was very disrespectful, and that was not utilizing proper decorum when you asked me a question, I didn't and know. I and I answered. Okay, you, you I asked me a me, question. I didn't know. Very excuse improper. Okay, excuse Thank me. you, madam. I'm just going to call out the hypocrisy. It's freedom of speech. When Mays is telling Allie she's a Republican as an insult, and then uh, he calls her a dog, or he tells me to jump off the Mackinac Bridge, uh, that's all freedom of speech. But if someone says, you missed a meeting, Ms. Burns, you are interrupting that person and you're upset. How hypocritical is that? Do you want me to answer that question? No. Well, Here you, you, you are you still interrupting me. You posed the question. Can't even get, can't even get through you it. You posed the question. Thank you for your, you are proving my point. No, you're proving my point. <laughs> you're proving my point because you cannot be a victim here. And you're being a victim. You can't. You are the victim, Ms. Burns. No. You're is always right? the victim. Point no, of order. That you. That point of order. You. your point of order? Point of order is Ms. Worthing has the floor. Thank you. And excuse me, she asked because the question information. The yes. Do you realize you did this to Chris Del Maroney and dismissed him? So first take heed to what you have done. On, on, in no, May. Listen, I will state what I've done. I sure will. But guess what? Stop trying to deflect what we're I'm talking not, about. Of we're talking about your point of information. I, I, excuse me. You have to cease talking. Excuse me. Point, when I say point of information, you I have can't to cease understand. Talking. I can't understand what you're saying. Okay. You know what? That I was don't. your second warning. Oh, oh, I don't. The ruling of the chair. Me, I second me. that. It has been properly second. Mocking is against the rules. Okay. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I was talking to you for a second. No, don't, don't, I'm not, listen, listen. Continue, continue to be classy like you are. Continue to be classy. Anyways. That's not a sort of term. No, they do not. They, no, I got the right one. Believe that one. Believe, 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 believe that one. Believe that one. Exactly. I don't know. Anyway. You live in Michigan. How about that one? You learn what to do. You learn what to stop lying. You got caught lying. You got caught lying. Because I let Eva back in that time. Okay, I'm done. Girl, listen, 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 listen. I was when she was out here. I have let her. I'm done. I, no, that's not the time she left us here. You may have not have been here. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. Guess what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 
I thank you, thank you, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jerry. Thank you. She don't, she don't know me. I know you live in Maryland, and I know your people. So girl, bye. So that's what, no, 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 no. No. You know what, Liddell, whatever your problem is, you can get it. No, I'm telling you the truth. So anyway. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm just saying, she like that those stones hide her hand and try to 